Welcome everybody to the Prolonged Engagement Show. This is episode 26. And as always, you're here with the greatest two people to ever come out of the ProlongedEngagement.com. Kyle. And Sarah. And you can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Sound Overlord and Sarah's. At the Dark Raven 13. You can follow the show at TPE underscore show. Go to the ProlongedEngagement.com for all audio and video, including iTunes. And you can go to youtube.com slash the prolonged engagement show. Remember, what? the subscribers are made up and the views don't matter. No, I'm tired of saying that. I thought it was funny. I don't think it's funny anymore. You tell me if it's funny, and then I'll say it again. Okay. So, anyway, um, what Ubisoft are we talking and about? EA. Yeah, and Microsoft, because we didn't talk about Microsoft. Who gives a about Microsoft. They have an Xbox. We don't have an Xbox. Oh, so you're forgetting about HoloLens? Oh. And Minecraft? Um, I might have to get an Xbox one. No, you can just get the PC version because HoloLens doesn't work on Xbox. It works on Windows. Oh, so it doesn't work with my Mac? No, not so, HoloLens. So I would have to... <laughs> I'm getting really, you know... um. Is this? No, this is the EA one. I had Microsoft up here. Where is my Microsoft one? Microsoft. Microsoft the only thing that Microsoft we wanted to talk about was Hollow once. Yeah, that. Um, I saw a lot of the. Uh, um, I ended up watching the uh, the Microsoft one. I wasn't watching it too thoroughly, but um, I watched it enough. Um, yeah. I so they they uh, they uh, announced, you know, of course. Halo 5, um, mm. you know, they talked about Fallout 4, talked about Forza Motorsport and Dark Souls 3 and The Division and Rainbow Six, which is none of their stuff. Um, they did talk, uh, there was a few, um, like Rise of Tomb Raider, that is, that's an exclusive, but that's not, um, uh, they did announce Rare Replay, which was really mm -hmm. cool. That was um, like Banjo-Kazooie and old games like that. Um, Which apparently won the conference. Yeah, for some strange reason. I'm like, I'm not a huge Banjo fan anyway. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I thought was really cool was Gears of War. They came out with a new Gears of War Ultimate Collection. And then um, they have a Gears of War 4 is coming out. So I thought that was pretty exciting mm -hmm. for Microsoft. Um, but... What really blew me away at the Microsoft conference was that damn HoloLens. Yes. I freaking lost my shit. HoloLens in Minecraft. Um, so they, they came out they came out with uh, um, uh, Mojang came out and uh, she's like, oh, well, you know, we've decided to uh, to show you a, a thing of what we can do in Minecraft if you have HoloLens. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? So the dude... Um, they ended up putting it on like the this Hololens thing on the on the camera, and uh, so that you could see it. So that you could see it in the, you know, on the live stream looked great because you know we weren't there. So, but um, this guy he like built his Minecraft world on a table, and it was the three D hologram mm -hmm. of what it looks like on the table. And um, and so he could follow the other player around. He could follow the other player around, and then he could like look. Um, he uh, he was able um, to like bring up and then like look underneath to see if there was a huge mine or you know uh, and that one that was a dungeon yeah it was like a dungeon or whatever and then he's like oh well you know if you blow a hole in this area you know he like set down a TNT and then she lit it no no no, it, no 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 she set down the TNT and then he like tapped it right? and then he said uh, command control lightning. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! He because um he was using uh the uh voice activation mm -hmm. on the Hololens and um he like tapped a point and it the lightning came down and blew a hole in the uh yeah in the in the earth down into the dungeon. I thought that was freaking cool. Um, that Hololens thing is freakishly cool. Um, uh, I don't know how how it's going to work, you know, in the future because. Um, they just they just announced that Hololens thing back in mm -hmm. um, February or January, so um, it's still like you know in its first early stages. But um, I thought that that was really it still cool. Still looked fantastic. Um, 
you know, they said that they were going to, they're uh, doing stuff with Oculus to where they're going to, um, every Oculus sold is going to come with a Xbox One controller. Yes. So then, you know, that's good for Oculus. Um, other than that, they made that new controller. Did you see that? No, I wasn't paying any attention. They made a new controller to where it has um, buttons for your uh, for these fingers. Oh, okay. On the on the grips, they have mm-hmm. two buttons, and you can like hold the button to give you more sensitivity on your on mm. your track. So this will be good for um, for people who play first person shooters, yeah. pretty much. Um, I doubt I I don't know what it's gonna do for things like, um, you know, it may open up a few things for like Fallout Four, you know. Because, like, Fallout has this thing uh, to where you can press the Q button on the PC and it'll walk automatically. Yeah. Where you don't have to press forward. Um, you may be able to, you know, uh, button map some things like that mm-hmm. to it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I don't have an Xbox. I'm not a big Xbox person, so I wasn't too... Uh, we were just like, eh. Wasn't too keen on it. I, You know, a few things I thought were cool, but... Um, uh, the EA was- press conference I thought was really great. I don't know how EA did it, but they went from like the most hated game company to, you know, everyone wants to everyone wants to latch onto them now. Um, they released the new Mass Effect game, mm-hmm. which people are going crazy about. I haven't played Mass Effect, so I can't really comment too much on that one. But um, other than that, Mirror's Edge Two, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, which one's that? Um, that was the one where it was that woman where you don't use guns, you just like morph and oh like that was cool kill people i thought that looked really cool using martial arts yeah yeah mm-hmm. yes that was interesting. um i haven't played mirror's edge you know but uh i thought that that was that was really cool looking um what stole the show at ea was um battlefront yeah i'm like holy crap yep. that thing just looks so great and then you were able to um you can control literally every person on that field. Mm-hmm. So uh, there were people who were driving the AT-ATs and the ATSTs. And you got um, to control them. You got to control them. You got to control the... Rebels down below? Yeah. No, no. The what? The ones with the... I don't know the name. TIE Fighters? Yeah. Yeah, you got to fly TIE Fighters. You can fly... Um, uh, uh, All the uh, wings. The X-Wings. And um, I was like, oh my God. It looks so freaking cool. And oh, yeah. all this is taken on. I thought that this there was going to be like a difference to where like, oh, well, you know, this is a this is a space battle. So you're um, so in this in this field, you're uh, you're you know, it's only going to be flying, you know, uh, you'll only be in ships. Nope. And then there's there was going to be another thing to where, OK, you're on um, you're on Endor. So no ships here. And no, that's not the case. Like when they were it's on everything Hoth, everywhere. it is you can fly a plane. You can you can you know you can fly a, a, a Tie Fighter. You can you can drive an ATAT. You can be a, a person on the ground. You can get on one of those little speeders on Endor. Mm-hmm. I was freaking like, oh my god! And it looked fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm really loving these graphics capabilities of these new systems. It's freaking amazing. I love what they're able to do with them now. So. Um, that that really. What was the one I liked with the arm? I can't figure that one out. Oh, which one was that one? The yarn. Did I look for it? Oh, the other one that I thought was cool was um, uh, the new Star Wars title that Molly um Amy Hennig is mm-hmm. working on. Do you know who Amy Hennig is? Nope. Okay. Well, Amy Hennig. Oh, it's called Unravel. That's it. That's the one. Um, Unravel is the is a it's, it's cute so little cute. yarn game where um, you're a little it a, dude. It's a two D side scroller, right? Platformer side scroller. Kind of. Yeah. It's a puzzle you can like game. throw out your. But you have you know, to throw out the yarn, and you can use that to like defeat cr- defeat. I thought it baddies. looked kind of like um Little Big Planet to me. A little like bit. A platformer, but you know there were things that you could. But you had. But it's a lot of puzzles. You have to um, use your yarn to grab something and pull it down. Mm-hmm. And then you can get across it. Um, say if there's a bad guy, you can wrap him up and keep going. Yeah. And yeah, jump yeah. on him. 
that one that that game looked incredibly cute and um and I'm interested to play that one I think. Mm-hmm. Um I'll be interested to see when that one when that one comes out. I don't remember if they did a release date I on that one or not. So um <laughs> not as bad as uh not as bad as uh, Square Enix which was just like we have lots of games but they're nowhere near ready. <laughs> Look at all these it, games it, we've this, got. This None honestly, of them are coming ready? out. Kyle, you ready? You ready? What? Ready? We're working on it. That was uh, that was oh poor Square Enix. It was just like, uh, we're working on it. We promise. It's coming. Um, I I can't tell it you when it's coming. coming. I, I think it's I think it's coming soon. Ish? Soon. Let me look at it. No, it's not coming soon. It is. No, it's not. Yes, I swear we're working on it. Oh, poor it Square was, Enix. It's coming. Don't kill us. Um, but uh I feel like they were worse off than poor Nintendo was. Oh man. That was it was brutal to watch Square Enix's mm-hmm. press conference. It was brutal. At least at least Nintendo had a clear had a clear um a clear shitty, you know, thing like yeah. Hey, we have a lot of these games coming out. No one gives a shit about any of them, but they're coming out. Where Square, where Square, Square is sitting there like we have a lot of fantastic we have a lot stuff. of fantastic games that I think that all of you will like. However, none of them are coming out anytime soon. Thank you very much. Um, they the, won't be coming out for five years. You know, so sorry. Um, yeah, Unravel looked looked insanely cute, and I um, oh, yeah. I'm interested to play that one when it comes out. But um, the uh, oh, so back to the um. The unnamed Star Wars um, game. Are you sure it was the Disney, Infin- the Disney Infinity one? No. Okay. No. That one was done at... Oh, that was done at the Sony conference, right? Mm-hmm. I think so, maybe. The D- Yeah, the Disney Infinity one was no. done at the Sony conference. They were releasing that, you know, um, you, you get like a whole, a whole pack of these, uh, this new Disney Infinity 3.0 thing. See, you get Star new Wars. Star Wars stuff like a whole, like a week before everyone else does, or some dumb mm-hmm. shit like that. But um, the Star Wars game uh, that is being created by Visceral, um, and the uh, the main the the head honcho behind that game is Amy Hennig. If you guys don't know who Amy Hennig is, you need to know who Amy Hennig is. She's the mastermind between Uncharted behind Uncharted. Yeah. Um. So you know what she's got. You know, you know her pedigree. You know what she's. You know what she's uh, got up her sleeve. Oh, you forgot something about Battlefront. What? You can play as Luke and Darth. Yeah, I know. Freaking f- lightsabers! Come on. Um, they also released that new uh, DLC for the Old Republic. Yes. Which I thought was uh interesting. I was like, does anyone still care about the Old Republic? But um, probably all the people that bought it and then were pretty upset at how much it sucked. Ryan was insanely upset with how much it sucked there was three years i had to hear about that game from him mm-hmm. it was three years the old republic the old republic the old republic and, and um, it was bad and he got it i think he played it for three months and was done with it he's like yeah. i'll never get excited about a game ever again burn him so bad but um yeah so amy hennig is the mastermind behind uncharted how so much do you want to bet he's excited about battlefront i'm excited about battlefront i'm just saying but um yeah Amy Hennig did uh, uh did Uncharted. She didn't do um Uncharted 4. Mm. Um that would be uh um Neil Druckmann and uh Bruce I just call him Neil and Bruce. Um they they did uh The Last of Us. So they're they're doing uh, Uncharted 4, which mm-hmm. I'm super happy about cuz The Last of Us was the greatest game I've ever played ever. Um did They say that there's a Last of Us 2 coming out. There, there's going to be, but they right now they're working it. on they're working on Uncharted Four. So okay, so they didn't announce it. No, they're not going to announce anything like that. Okay. Oh my God, no, that would be just stupid, especially when Uncharted Four is coming out. Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog only works on one game at a time. Okay. Yeah, they're a smaller studio, mm. but you know, uh, yeah, they only work it. They've only put out. Um, I wasn't sure if they'd already if they. If they, I, I didn't remember if they announced it or not. No, they can't do that because they can only work on one game at a time. When they finished doing Jack and Daxter games, mm-hmm. and they went on to Uncharted. It was Uncharted One, then Uncharted Two, then Uncharted Three, and then Last of Us. Yeah. So I mean, they only they can only do one game at a time. Um. 
talented bunch of individuals. Just beautiful, beautiful games. Um, what was I talking about? You totally got me off track. Amy had a new Star Wars. Yes. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. I was really excited about that one. Um, anyway, let's go on to the uh, other crazy one that I didn't really care about. Except for a few things. Ubisoft. Uh, Ubisoft. Um, I mean, I was when I was thinking Ubisoft, I was thinking like Assassin's Creed, Crew, some stinking Tom Clancy shit. Lots of Tom Clancy this time. Yeah, there was like Tom Clancy freaking stole uh, Ubisoft's um, uh, press conference. Mm-hmm. Came out with um, let's see, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. And uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. Both of those look really uh, interesting and yeah. cool. Not my tup, not my cup of tea. No. Um, I'm not a real big first-person shooter other than Call of Duty because Call of Duty's Call of Duty shooting mechanics are what makes Call of Duty Call of Duty. Yeah. What makes Call of Duty Call of, yeah whatever. But um yeah so I was and um they uh they got into a new expansion for the crew. Um. They call it Wild Run. Mm-hmm. I was looking into the crew um, the just because I thought it would be cool because I love racing games, but I don't know if I would really be all into that. They announced a lot of DLC for it. Yeah. Um, they released new DLC for Trials Fusion. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, with the cat on the unicorn? Yeah, the cat the cat on the unicorn. That was pretty funny. Um uh, of course, they came. You know, they uh, they showed Just Dance 2016, which I'm excited about. Which I are, like Just yeah, Dance. that's fine. Um, but uh, let's see. They didn't announce any of the songs for it though, which pissed me off. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. But they did that that guy that came out and did mm-hmm. the little song or whatever. Song I thought that and was dance pretty for weird. it. I was like. Um. And yeah, Rainbow Six Siege is getting a beta coming out in september and then we got a stinky old preview of assassin's creed syndicate after last year's assassin's creed unity i am so totally done with assassin's creed and they can go shove it because you don't want to give it a chance it didn't even look it didn't even look appetizing um when they get when they uh when they were talking about unity they said oh well you know we're gonna add this new shit like Oh, you can run through the buildings now, mm-hmm. and um, you know you can parkour down. And they were giving us like they were hyping it up like crazy. And I was like, oh, this sounds great. They didn't give us any hype for Syndicate at all. I mean, it was like they showed us like some stinky like cinematic trailer, and that was it. Yeah, they didn't even like they didn't give us any gameplay for it or nothing. And I was like, what is this crap? And then they they showed us that Fort Honor game, which looks incredibly stupid. Yeah, it doesn't look appetizing um, at all. Do you I need mean, me to I'm take her? Like, I don't know what she's doing. She's just like... She's trying to get comfortable. Oh, get comfortable, dog. Um, the uh, the only thing that I thought was cool about Syndicate was um, they now have a, a woman assassin in the yes. game now, which I was like, oh, well, they haven't had that one since uh, uh, Eveline and her game was shit. Mm-hmm. So, poor thing. She was a really awesome assassin, but her game was crap. Yeah. I think the problem was that because it was on Vita. Yep. Yeah. There was just an, uh, not enough processing yep. power for an Assassin's Creed game. Because even, um, even the voice acting in... It in, was poor. Uh, was poor. And I think that they, they tried to make it a full Assassin's Creed game, but uh, with the amount of code that they had to put in to make it an Assassin's Creed, they... It doesn't work. It just... They didn't have enough to put in actual content, mm-hmm. so the game just turned or out. Or story. Yeah, content and story. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So so why were you excited with Ubisoft? Um, obviously, you forgot. Yes, I did. Because um, if you, if you, you ever played a game called South Park The Stick of Truth? That's right. <laughs> so um, they had... It, no, let me talk this one, okay? Because Stick of Truth is one of my favorite games uh-huh. all time. And so, what's and it called? What's, what's it? What? It's not called Stick of Truth Two. I call it Stick of Truth Two. It's not called Stick of Truth Two. Shut what's up! it called? Actually, bent or not, or bent but not broken, or something. Bent. 
The fractured butthole. That's it. The fractured butthole is actually the fractured and then B U T W H O L E. So it's the fractured but hole. Hole. But you know, it's the fractured butthole. The and fractured they butthole. actually had they actually had um Cartman saying that South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Stick of truth was um one of the is And this one is about um their uh their superhero alter egos, right? They that's also with it. I thought that's what the game's about. Nope. Oh that's a part of it. Because um Professor Chaos who I love Professor Chaos. I'm sorry guys. I cheer for the bad guys. Um Professor Chaos is Butters alter ego because poor Butters is made fun of all the time by everybody. And so cuz he's Butters. But he's so cute. So so he creates Professor Chaos to fight raccoon or coon and friends. Mm-hmm. And so he sits here and he goes uh, 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 uh um and it's not RPG. It's RPG but it's not fighting style. So remember the it's old not fighting? turn based. Not turn based. Okay. Which is so much better. Yeah, that was the only complaint I had about. Did you not hear what he said? What? He goes, um, they were like, I thought we were never doing this again. I thought you were getting rid of it. And he goes, Yeah, well the b- last game sucked. The fighting style sucked. I was like, Yes. It yeah, it was. That it was, was that's shitty. honestly the worst part. That of was the, the game. worst part about the game, yeah. Um, but the reason that they brought in the coon and friends. Is because of the fact that. Shut up. They made a joke. Because um, Professor Chaos shows up and goes, I will defeat you, Coon and Friends. I can't sound like Butterworth shit. Coon I will and defeat Friends. defeat you, Coon and Friends. And then he goes, Ah, oh, shit, guys, you're playing the wrong game. And so Cartman and they all walk Cartman's off. Cartman's dressed up in his wizard hat. And the wizard hat. They're all dressed up in there. In there, yeah. In that outfit. Mm hmm. Kenny's a princess. Mm-hmm. And so they go, do the Cartman voice. It, he says, ah, oh, shit, we're playing the wrong... Oh, shit, guys. We're playing the wrong game. Yeah. And, and then, then so and they, they, they off. walk off, they walk off And the they, screen, come they come back as Coon and Friends. As Coon and Friends, yeah. So. But yeah, this time it's... I'm so excited for that. I am. I am so excited am. for that. That is like my... Uh, oh, my God. Because I didn't even know about Stick of Truth until much later when it actually came out and I saw it in store. Mm-hmm. And I got really excited. I was like, okay. Uh, and, and we bought it. We've been playing it. Well, because we saw the episode that where they said, oh, the, the Stick of Truth coming out. And I thought that it was a joke. I didn't we think that. We both did. I thought it was a joke. Because it's South Park. Uh-huh. You can't take South Park seriously worth anything. But yeah, the game was real. And it was fantastic. And it's fantastic. Because so, it has a I'm lot of... Um, it's a lot of u- references to just old. It's reference dropping like crazy. To 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 older jokes and mm-hmm. a- other episodes. Like the anal probe part of it. Oh my, oh my god! That's Which is from the so first episode. So I didn't good. know this. So good. Yeah, we actually, due to the stick of truth, went back and started watching it. Yeah, and um. And so then we started playing stick of truth again and laughing even harder. Oh. Because there, oh. It's a really good game. <laughs> I am really, really yeah. excited about the fractured butthole. But um, hole, separate your words. I ain't separating shit. How about that? Cartman separated it. Didn't separate it. But um, yeah, that was yeah. Square Enix was hard to watch. That was very. <laughs> um, they showed like you know some shitty little gameplay of Kingdom Hearts three. Eh. And it looked like the same shit over and over and over again. Yes. Where you just run around and killing stuff. Like, when... Which is not I what... Played, I played uh, the first one, so Kingdom Hearts 1. We both 1, played it. And it was... Um, there were, like, puzzles it. involved where yeah. you had to, like, grab these things. And you had to say different stuff to different people mm-hmm. to try and, like, do, you know, fix these puzzles and whatnot. And they didn't show us any of that. They just showed us, like, fighting mechanics. Fighting it's, like, in different areas. I was like, that's not what... Kingdom Hearts is to me. I didn't no, think that, that was Kingdom Hearts is always about working with the Disney characters. Mm-hmm. And they and then just they, showed and then us they only showed us the tangled areas. 
Yeah. Oh, which, yeah. They only showed us the tangled areas too. Which so. makes me think that it's only one area. Which, if that's it's, really it's true, it's not. It means that Kingdom Hearts three is not coming out anytime soon. But it that, means that it means that it's probably. I mean, at the earliest, it's a 2017 game. Yes. I'm telling you. But that sucks for me, for someone who is a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, because I loved Kingdom Hearts 1. Mm-hmm. I loved, I just loved how you got to work with the Disney characters. Yeah, so that was the up. best part about the game. And then it didn't show that. It didn't show that you're walking with Goofy and Donald. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mickey. And, and, then, and then they had that stupid iOS game that looks like crap. Yeah. No. Um, they had that one, though, that was chibi, and it looked cute for Final Fantasy, I think it was. Yeah, the Final Fantasy chibi uh, chibi game. game. That was kind of... Um, yeah. We originally saw that at the um, Sony one. conference, yeah. too. And so that's that time again. A lot of the a lot of the a lot of the stuff that Square showed was Shit. you know they uh, that it had already been shown by Microsoft and Sony. Yeah. Um. So <sighs> the biggest the biggest announcement that Square had was Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. And that got and that got you know blown out of the water at the Sony conference. Yeah. So that was like the biggest thing that they had, and it had already been dropped. Mm-hmm. So um. Yeah, they didn't have much riding yeah. on it for them. It's that so time again, Kyle. Guys. But at any rate. All right, guys. Well, that was uh, oh. episode uh, 26. Six? Yeah, 26. Are you lost now? I'm so lost. Doing these like four in a row things. It's crazy. Babe. What? Just remember your numbers. Okay. 26. Yeah. My name is Kyle. And I'm Sarah. And you can follow us on uh, on the Twitter. I'm at Sound Overlord, and I'm at uh, the Dark Raven Thirteen. And uh, you can follow the show at TPE underscore Show. Yep. Uh, go to the Prolonged Engagement dot com for all audio and video. That includes iTunes. Type in the Prolonged Engagement in your podcast app, app. Or in in your podcasting app, and you get the audio version of this show. Yep. Go to youtube.com slash the prolonged engagement show to subscribe. Tell your friends. We're only doing these 30 minute videos now. And, and sometimes uh, it's less than. Yeah. And um, 25 was really short. And so we, you know, we're just, just going and, mm-hmm. you know, we're talking some quick stuff and getting out yeah. of there, getting yep. out of your hair. It's good. Yeah. You can watch it and. You know, just tell us what you want us to you do. You can for listen to this while cooking dinner. Yeah, you could. And you'd be done with your dinner. And done with us. Especially if you do those thirty-minute meals by uh, by Rachel Ray. And then you, you know, your food would be done by the time you're done listening to us crazy people. Yep. All right. All right. Which reminds me, we have to go make dinner. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week, hopefully, because we're mm-hmm. going to Florida. And I don't know how that's going to go down. We'll tweet at you. Follow us at TPE underscore show. Or you can check out our uh, Facebook page at facebook.com slash the prolonged engagement. So you'll get you'll get the news other w- yep. uh, either way. Well, we will give you something. I promise. We will. All right. Because there's only 10 of you. And don't forget, guys, make sure to tell us what you want to do for our 10 subscriber, 10 subscriber celebration. Okay. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.